They were met with a heavy volume of fire in apartment 6C as in Charlie. As the units began to enter the apartment and began to extinguish it, fire had spread above them, uh, making it an extremely hazardous condition into the cockloft. Fire got into apartment 6A, 6B, 6C, and 6D. Fire was spreading rapidly. The units put six hose lines in place in order to help extinguish and contain this fire. They did an amazing job uh, living up to the moniker of us being the bravest. They did incredible work, you know, in, on a hot summer day, uh, putting those hose lines in place and extinguishing the fire. Talk a little about the wires that were burning and how that ended the operation. So, uh, during the course of the operation, when one of the tower ladders was being put in position, in a defensive in position, in case fire was beginning to spread beyond the hose line control, uh, they came in contact with one of the wires, which knocked the wires down and energized about three of our vehicles. Thankfully, uh, when the wires came down on top of our vehicles, nobody was hurt and none of the vehicles were damaged. Was anybody inside the vehicles? Nobody was inside the vehicles. They were all operating inside the building, thankfully, and outside of the building with that. Uh, in the course of putting out this fire, we did have two firefighters hurt, one orange tag and one green tag on the way to Jacoby Hospital. Thankfully, no civilians or anybody else in the area was hurt while this fire was being extinguished. What are the two firefighter injuries? Smoke inhalation? Uh, one was smoke inhalation and one was a, a minor burn and to the back of the neck. And when you arrived, were people still in the back of the or did you have to rescue anyone? Uh, we did not have to rescue anybody. There was no one rescued at this. By the time we arrived on scene, most of the people had smelt that smoke up on the top floor and have evacuated out of the building. And then as we were operating, we were evacuating the floors below so that no, everyone was in a safe position. Can you explain, you said the fire went into the cockloft? Right, so the cockloft is an area above the, the ceiling line of an apartment and below the ceiling, before, below the roof line. There's a space, it could be anywhere from six to, to about two feet deep. And once fire gets up in there, uh, there's no fire stop in this type of building. So the fire can spread, as you can see, and it's a very large building. Uh, can spread throughout the whole top floor if we don't get control of it pretty quickly. Did the roof collapse? No, none of the roof collapsed. In part of extinguishing it, what we do is we send Any units up there okay, who are operating with, ho operating with operating with saws, with power okay. saws, who are taking that roof and cutting that roof and exposing it so fire and smoke can vent out and helps us contain the fire in a smaller area. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, it's extensive. There's extensive fire damage in three of the fire apartments, and there'll probably be water damage in all the apartments below those four apartments where we operated the six hose lines. The water seeps through because we have to use copious amounts of water to extinguish a fire so of this magnitude. Just the people on this side of the building are impacted on, on the front front portion of the building, what we call exposure one. We had four apartments that would had that had a significant amount of damage. And are people going to be allowed back in the building tonight? Uh, we will allow people back in the building in the areas that aren't damaged. Again, we'll get the Department of Buildings here to help determine that what's safe, what's not, and where people can can stay and not stay. Any idea how many people or how many units there are in the building? Uh, there would probably be in a, a building of this size, probably about like between 36 to 70 units usually. Uh, the fire marshals are still investigating what caused the fire at this time, so I wouldn't want to speculate on what caused it. Can you confirm this is a nitro building? Uh, it, is, it is a housing authority building, yes. Okay. Right. And nothing suspicious at this point? Nothing suspicious and, no, and nothing that we can, nothing really to add to beyond what the valiant work of what our firefighters did while they were on scene here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.